Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Andrew Street and I'm a full-time network marketer. Uh, through this video recording and, and other ones to come, I want to pass on some of my knowledge and experience about network marketing and what to look for and how to conduct your business effectively. Um, of course, all of this is going to be done very generic. I'm not going to be talking about specific companies. So therefore, um, anyone who is interested in doing network marketing can watch my video and pick up a few uh, uh, tips here and there. All my recordings are done without a, uh, a written script. It's, I think I speak. And... Um, it's done on Saturdays if you if you know my Facebook um, wall, or you can check it out on YouTube at my um, account, which is Andrew Street A N D R E W S T R E A T. Uh, or you can also look me up on on YouTube because uh, my wall is public. Okay. Today, my topic is going to be about three things: network marketing in general. Um, how to choose a company and why having a proper composition plan is very very important <laughs> network marketing is the future and I say that because um, traditional retailing as we know it is becoming a dinosaur all because of the internet um, people today are exposed to too many different avenues in order to uh, find bargains. You know, you, you go to your search engine, be it Google or be it Bing or whatever, you punch in the keyword of, of what you're looking for, and then you search all the various companies and you shop at the one that has the better price and value of money for yourself. So, when it comes to talking about brand loyalty or customer loyalty, there is no more customer loyalty when a person can go online and do a search for the best price and voila, off they go. But because of the way how network marketing is structured, where the customer is given the opportunity to earn a living or share profit by referring um, the product or service to their own uh, personal marketplace or personal uh, or market. When they do that and the person purchases a product and they use their ID number as reference, they earn a commission, a bonus, or whatever. So because of this factor, people who uh, are in with the various company network marketing are more likely to stay with the company than go bargain hunting because they know that they're benefiting financially by promoting the network marketing product rather than bargain hunt and don't really gain any real benefit in the form of income back to them. So because of this factor, <laughs> traditional companies in the future will be focusing on network marketing and developing network marketing de departments in order to keep their own brand uh, loyal customers with them and um, keep their sales level at a very high level. And also, um, because most of this advertisement is done word of mouth, the company is also saving themselves money. Instead of having to pay millions and millions of dollars in advertising, they have to. They can now take a percentage of that there, and offer it to the various distributors, and save themselves money once the network start to really produce sales. Okay, of course, um, finding the right company is very very important. Um, I do, I personally do not look for companies that are under ten years because I think they still need to learn how to do things correctly. And I also uh, think that finding products that you like 
or services that you like so that you'll have enjoyment promoting it is also vitally important. Paying commissions on time, very important. Having a training system in place that you can follow rather than no training system and you've got to develop one yourself is very important also. Okay? Um, leaders that really know something about network marketing is a plus, but not necessary, not necessary if they're willing to bring in people who has the knowledge and expertise to help them develop the company. And of course, paying commissions on time. You know, you get paid this month, you don't get paid next month, and the whole nine yards, you don't want that. You want to be able to get a regular commission month by month by month. Okay? Um, compliance is also a very important um, area. Reason being is because some compliance hide a lot of the money, it's not shared properly. You get paid a lot at the top, and then as you develop your network, you go deep. Um, you find that you're working harder, but you're not making this type of um, income that you should. A, a compound in network marketing should be balanced. And what I mean is people who be start at the beginning should be able to make good commission. People who are promoting the network in the middle should make good commission. And people who go to the top let's say they're lead their company leadership and they're actually um, um, developing the networks for people in a sort of hotel environment or whatever whatever should make good commissions so that's what we call by balance now come some commissions are are matrix they're uni level they're breakaways I wouldn't really go into too much of the topics but basically you want one that's balanced I personally like the hybrid ones, which has a little bit of everything involved in it. So it would have, for example, say, um, commission on sales, say 20%. And then uh, as you go deep, they might have a 10% commission on the second level, and then 5% commission uh, all the way to infinity, plus other bonuses based on, on certain performance um, levels that you reach. That's what I consider to be a balance. But matrix where you're limited on how wide you can go. Um, so instead of developing, say, nine across or six across or ten across, you're only limited to three across. I personally do not like, and I don't recommend that people get involved with with companies that offer such a comp compensation plan. Um, that's about it as far as um, my topic for today is concerned. If anyone would like to know um, what it is that I am working on at the moment, I will have a website link attached to this uh, video um, on YouTube. Or if you're on Facebook and you're watching this here from Facebook, please look at the link that I have in the notes uh, attached to this video. That's all for now. Um, everyone, please have a wonderful week. And um, next week, my topic will be about how to start and set up your business in network marketing correctly. Okay? Um, bye for now. Have a wonderful week.